Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from AzureAutomation.com and welcome to another video of Razor Automation. And today we are going to talk about all new GitHub actions. So this was in a beta stage and it's kind of available for public right now. I signed up for GitHub actions and now I can see within my Azure Automation's GitHub repo, I could able to also see the GitHub actions. So GitHub action is kind of announced last year on November and you can see there are so many different features available with GitHub Actions. You can run any workflow on GitHub events and you can see how all the codes are going to be automatically built and also compiled and generated for you once you push your code on the repository. So it is also available for free guys. Even if you have a free repo, you can use the GitHub Actions for executions. So I'm not really going to talk about a lot of the theoretical aspects of the GitHub Actions because the name itself is GitHub Actions. So we can see the whole operation in actions instead of really talking about the GitHub Actions in theoretical manner. So you can see there are various different workflows available. We are going to take one of the most common automation testing workflow this time and we'll see how the GitHub Actions work in action. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to start working with our repository, any one of the repository, and I'm going to choose the one which has Cucumber JVM in it. So this was one thing which I released like last month while talking about the Cucumber 5 features. And yes, this repo has got some of the basic Cucumber JVM 3.0 capabilities and the code works fine without any problem. I know that. I tested it in my machine. I showed you a video and it's also available in YouTube so you can watch there. But all these days we have been executing the build either in the Jenkins or maybe Azure DevOps or within our local machine to see how the execution actually happens. But now with GitHub Actions which is available for free, you can see there there is this Actions tab and you can create a new workflow here to perform an action. I already tried myself just a few minutes before and the execution is happening without any problem and I'm gonna show you exactly the same thing like how it actually works. And before that I also enabled one of the new feature like a beta feature which has been released the feature preview option within your GitHub repo. It's kind of neat because you can also enable a new way of exploring your repositories. So you can see that it is uh, instead of the classical way once you enable it it's more refreshed the repository look and all those kind of thing is very very interesting to see. If I hit codes you can see that the UI is now changed. Very neat and also uh, you can go to the user automation homepage you can see that the repository itself is now uh, much much refined and very very clear and neat to work with. So that's another thing that you can actually make right now today. If you go to the GitHub repo you can do those changes which is pretty cool. And now I'm just gonna go to the actions and over here I'm going to create a new workflow. As I told you, this is a Java with Maven project and it will actually suggest you, the GitHub Actions will actually suggest you what action that you're going to be choosing, which is also pretty cool. And you can also choose any project that you feel like uh, if it is not suiting the suggestion which has been given by the GitHub Actions. Uh, but this suggestion just given by the GitHub Actions is pretty close to what I am looking for, just this one. So I'm going to set up this workflow and you can see that it shows you pipeline as a code. I just recently talked about this pipeline as a code in Jenkins using Jenkins file for creating pipeline as a code. But in Azure CI CD world, everything is YAML file and you can see it's the .yaml file over here and it tells you that what you're going to be executing. So it tells you the name and on push for the branch master and then pull request for this uh, master branch. You perform a job and you do the build on Ubuntu latest machine or a container or it can be virtual machine, whatever it is. And it's going to be executing these steps for you, which is nothing but it's going to check out the core. It's going to set up the JDK and then it is going to use the Java, which has been set over here. And then it's going to build with uh, Maven using this particular command, which is all pretty cool. So if you want to change the argument, you can probably change that. So it's everything is there over here within this particular YAML file. And now you can start the commit over here. Create a new Maven dot uh, YAML. So I'm just going to directly commit to the master branch. That's it. And you can see that this has been created over here. And now if you go to the Actions tab, you can see that we have this Java CI with Maven over here. 
and you can see that currently it is also queued and it is now in progress which is nothing but it is executing the code for us this build is going to fail basically i just want to show you like how it fails and then how we can make the code change and how the execution actually happens for you behind the scene you can see that it automatically set up the machine for us and then it is doing a checkout and then it is setting up the jdk 1.8 and then the build got failed as i told you that is expected and it's all just downloading all the required dependency files for us which is all pretty cool pretty much like jenkins and azure devops and then you can see that it tells me that the symbol var is cannot be resolved because uh, it is jdk 1.8 that's what it is taking it's not the jdk 10 or 11 uh, which can resolve this var type so i'm just going to go to the code and then i'm going to go to the source i'm going to go to this particular source of this particular steps i really like this ui which is pretty cool and now i'm just going to hit this it did this file and i know what type it is so instead of var it is basically a json node so i'm just going to say json node json node and then i'm just going to say change to var to json node type and i'm going to hit commit changes which is pretty cool so once it is committed now you can go to the actions you can see that automatically with the ci with maven it will run the build for us now it's queued and now it's again executing for you which is all good and now if i go to the build over here you can see that it is now performing the same action for us now it's downloading all the dependencies for us and it is building with maven and you can see that hopefully this time the execution should succeed the build got succeeded over there you can see that the build got succeeded and the execution got happened for us as well which is all pretty cool and now if i go to this this particular build over here on the java ci with maven you can see that it will tell me if there is any artifact it will be shown over here so basically i need to add a step for generating the artifacts i am not added in the workflow that's why there is no artifact being generated and if there is any annotation it will be created for us over here and this will show me the workflow file as well so i can even edit this particular workflow file on the fly and it will tell me all the featured actions that i can actually do apart from what is actually sitting in over here i'm really excited to see this is one of the new way of working with the ci cd within the github itself and we can explore even more new feature of github in our further videos while we discuss about this build deploy test with jenkins and probably we can manage them both together and we'll see how we can leverage the power of github actions for the continuous integration and deployment Thank you.